A movement to tear down controversial statues is sweeping the nation. In Wilkesbury, the Christopher Columbus statue was the target of vandalism twice. Now, another Columbus statue stands in the city of Hazleton, and the mayor there wants to get ahead of the movement with a new ordinance. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback explains. Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt wants to establish official guidelines for getting a public monument or statue removed within the city. People want to remove history, so therefore I figured I would get out in front of it and put a process in place. So we're not telling you it can't be done. We're telling you if, if you're requesting it, this is what needs to be done. Wednesday night, Hazleton City Council heard the first of three readings during a public council meeting on Zoom. The public monuments ordinance would apply to any statue or monument that has stood in the city for at least 20 years. If someone wants to remove a statue or monument, they would need individual notarized signatures from 75 percent of the population before they can request a hearing. That's about 25,000 signatures. Now, 25,000 signatures, good luck with that. You know, where, where I want to know where you came up with that number. Tell me. Maria Giacchetti says she believes Hazleton's Christopher Columbus statue should be removed, but the ordinance would make it nearly impossible. A false, deceptive version of history that children learn and people think is the real history should be something that Hazleton should be ashamed of continuing. Mayor Cassatt says people saved for more than 40 years to pay for the statue, so it should not be easily removed. It should be just as hard to take it down as it was to put up. Council members voted to approve the first reading of the ordinance. Reporting in Hazleton, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. The ordinance must pass two more readings before it's adopted. Second reading will be on July 8th.